President Obama says, if you build a successful business, you had a lot of help and you should pay more in taxes. Uh. What does Ed Butowski, who built a successful business, think of that? He responds to this next. If you got a business, that you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. It's the big story on Varney and Company today. President Obama's comment on being successful in America. Listen to this one more time, please. If you were successful, somebody along the line gave you some help. There was a great teacher somewhere in your life. Somebody helped to create this unbelievable American system that we have that allowed you to thrive. Somebody invested in roads and bridges. If you got a business, that you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. Ed Butowski from Chapwood Investments joins us now from Dallas. Ed, you started and you continue to run a successful business. Your take on the yeah. president's comments, please. I mean, I'm, I'm just speechless. I mean, basically what the president did, he just spit in the face of every American who goes to work every day, entrepreneurs that take risks. I mean, I sat there and I worked my tail off, Stuart, and I don't remember any government agent nearby watching me and helping me grow that business. Quite frankly, they're watching and I have to pay a lot of money to, con you know, to make sure that I'm following all the regulations and all the rules. But Stuart, I watch entrepreneurs every single day start businesses with an idea, go out and take risks and grow those businesses businesses and some of them have become some of the biggest companies that we have in this country today. The government really is a wet blanket on top of most of these people and we try to navigate around whatever rules and regulations they have. But what we have right now, that's embarrassing that we live in a country where our president said what he just said. If we have a business, it wasn't us that formed it, it was the government. I don't understand why the president should do this. Why does he go after capitalism? private enterprise, yeah. small businesses. Why would he, it was almost an insult to say that you've yeah. got a small business, you've been successful, you didn't do it, you didn't build it, you had to have help from us, the government, we built the roads for you. Right. It's almost an insult and I don't understand why this president would do that. Well, because, because he's trying to, really what he's doing is he's going after Romney and trying to basically say that Romney might have all of this money, but he got it, not because he's a smart guy, it's because somebody else, some mystical being out there did it. I mean, Charles said it perfectly earlier. Where do tax dollars come from? They come from corporations and individuals. Where does that come from? It comes from people and creating the economy and growing the economy. Those bridges and roads, where did that money come from? It came from people like you, Stuart, and me, and everybody watching this show right now. For the president to say that it came from somewhere else, although right now they're printing a lot of that money, aren't they? But to say that, that ta those tax dollars just came out of the sky is not true. It came from people like you and me and everybody else watching right now, working their tails off every single day to make this economy work, and we don't need to have him literally spit in our face and tell us what we're doing is not worthy. You're all fired up there, aren't you, Ed? Yeah, I really am. I, I just cannot believe what I have to listen to almost every day that comes out of this administration with their, with their desire to get reelected. That's all this is. It makes no sense, and we got to somehow change the course and get entrepreneurs back to work, have risk takers, and let's get this economy going, and let's stop with all this nonsense. I, I want to change the subject dramatically for a second here, because um, okay. Barton Biggs has passed away. Yeah. He was 79 years old. I think he was the co-founder of one of the very first hedge funds back in the mid-1960s, as I recall. Uh, but, Ed, I think you knew him personally, did you not? Yeah, I did. Bar Barton Biggs was one of the great minds on Wall Street. Anybody who was in the business in the uh, mid-80s, up and through, really, actually, he stayed in the business for quite some time. He was running a hedge fund recently, but he was the chief strategist at Morgan Stanley. And, and he was a great thinker. He usually went against the grain. He said what was on his mind. And, um, and I think a lot of us need to learn that in the business because Barton Biggs was one of the guys, when he spoke, Everyone listened. Brilliant man, a great, great uh, person uh, you know, who's in our business, and he's going to be really missed for many years to come. Yeah. A lot of people are very sad by his passing. He was I, a great I, guy. I do agree. Straightforward honesty is a wonderful yeah. thing, and he will indeed be missed for that. Ed Butowski, yeah, always a pleasure. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks.